Um, so we have now more information about the FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago. Uh, I don't know that we have a huge amount of information, but we have some. Uh, we have we have the actual um, uh, you know the, the actual document uh, that specifies why they're going in, uh, the warrants, and uh, uh, you know we have a list of the materials that were recovered in the uh, in the home in Mar-a-Lago. It, it, it's hard to tell at this point, um, again, how serious any of this is, uh, you know, what the nature of these documents really is, uh, how bad the situation is. Uh, it also, I think, is yet to be determined to what extent the Biden administration went to try to get these documents um, before the raid, uh, although it looks like they, uh, they met with Trump people, they went to the villa, they, they took a bunch of stuff. They subpoenaed them. They tried to get all these documents on several occasions and did not get them, did not get the full support. And there are indications, again, we don't really know, that somebody close to the president uh, instructed the FBI that there were still boxes of top secret materials in, uh, in the home being stored, uh, being stored inappropriately. Well, the fact that they were where they were was inappropriate. Um, and actually disclosed the exact whereabouts of these documents so, uh, so that uh, the FBI knew exactly where to search. Now, again, I don't know if any of that is true, but, but it's certainly, uh, that is certainly the story coming out uh, right now. Uh, I, don't, I haven't seen Trump denying uh, any of uh, the idea that there were top secret documents there, although he is insinuating that maybe some of these documents were planted by the FBI, that this is part of a big conspiracy to discredit him before the election so that uh, they are planting material. I think, uh, I think a lot of people believe that. I think a lot of people are primed to believe that. Uh, I mean, as I said the other day when we talked about this for the first time, the real tragedy here, I think, is that I don't trust either of them. I don't trust any of them. I mean, the FBI has shown itself to be untrustworthy over the last six years. The Justice Department has shown itself to be politicized over the last six years, politicized both by Democrats and by Republicans. Although I will give Barr credit for the fact that when it ultimately came to the ultimate act of politicizing the Justice Department, which would have been, um, you know, to um, uh, to claim that the election was stolen, Barr refused to do that, and Barr. You know, uh, 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 you know, maintained at least that bit of his integrity, but not being willing to lie about the nature of the election, although I, I suspect he had lied about all kinds of other things uh, in the Justice Department before that. So we, we're in a situation, oh, and so that's on one side. We, we don't trust the Biden administration. We don't trust the Justice Department, I think justifiably. We don't completely trust the FBI, again, I think justifiably, even though again, the, F, the head of the FBI right now was somebody that Trump appointed to that position after he'd fired the previous head of the FBI. It's somebody who, at least for the latter years of the Trump administration, I don't think caused Trump any problems from the FBI. Um, so we don't trust the FBI. We don't trust the, the, the Justice Department. We don't trust the, the Biden administration. Uh, we generally don't trust the left because, again, there is this notion that they will do anything to maintain power. And while I think that's exaggerated, because I don't think they stole the last election. I think there's a lot of truth to it. There certainly is uh, an aspect of it that is true, um, in a sense that our politics are now so corrupt as people are willing to do anything to make power. But of course, the flip side is also true. I don't trust anything Trump says. Um, and it's completely conceivable to me, given Trump's character and given Trump's behavior, that he might have taken top secret documents uh, to Mar a Lago. Who knows why? Partially for his own ego. Maybe they're documents that he could use. Supposedly, one of the documents taken was a, 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 a memo or, or some kind of write up on the president of France. Um, who knows what Trump wanted to do with these documents, why he kept them. Maybe some of them related to him, maybe some of them related to his behavior. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they related to uh, actions that the administration took or the military took or the
CIA took or somebody took that Trump would rather not come to light. I don't know. But the point is, it's completely believable to me that any of that would happen. I, I don't know that it happened, but it's completely believable to me. And it does look like, and I don't think that these these things were planted. I think that's unlikely. It's too easy to catch them. It's too easy to show that it's a lie. Um, it does look like, and I don't know the nature of these. There's a box of uh, that. There was a box of top secret material taken from the from Mago Logo. There was a box of secret material. There was a bunch of other stuff that just doesn't belong there. It belongs by law in different archives related to different departments of the government, including the National Archive. And it doesn't strike me at all as unlikely that uh, Trump took those documents and, and didn't give a damn about the procedure or the law or the exact damn, and just took them home and, and, and used them at home and said, screw you, I, I don't care. Um, and it, he never thought it would be enforced. He never thought anybody would care. He never thought it was that important or that big of a deal. And even when, and this is what surprises me, if they'd already taken a bunch of top secret stuff from the home, if they'd already, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, subpoenaed the stuff, and why didn't he just give it back? What is in there? Did he is is it just incompetence and stupidity? Is he trying to hide something, or is it all made up by the FBI? And this is this is the real challenge that we face. I mean, I was accused earlier of not being objective about uh, about uh, Trump, something about. How could I not be not objective? I am the ultimate objectivist or something like, something ridiculous like that, stupid like that. Uh, I'm trying to be objective, but it's really, really hard because to be objective about these things, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to be objective, but, but to, to discover the truth, to discover what's really going on, one needs reliable facts. One needs reliable evidence. And there is such a degree of distrust now that, that I think most of you have and certainly I have towards the authorities and, and towards Trump and towards anything that comes out of Trump's mouth and really anything that comes out of the authorities' mouth uh, uh, about these kind of things that it's very, very hard. It's very, very hard to know what is true. Now, I, I can tell you what my, 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 my suspicion is. My suspicion is that Trump's at fault here and 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 he's an idiot and uh, that he took documents for whatever reason and you know didn't think they would ever follow up on it and stuck his middle finger at the justice department and ignored their request and maybe there's something in these documents that he would rather not come to light so he wanted to protect them and um but I think mostly it's incompetence he probably had a bunch of stuff laying around in different places and, and wasn't too worried about it and didn't care and thought that just the problem was making a big deal out of this when it shouldn't be. And he was former president, so who the hell are they to even tell him where he can and cannot put the documents? I mean, that sense, I mean, Trump gives off the sense of he wants to be a dictator. He wants to be have the authority to be able to do whatever the hell he wants. He wants to be able to keep whatever documents he wants. He wants to be able to use whatever documents he wants. He gives that aura of who the hell is going to... I'm, I'm, I'm the president of the United States. Who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do, what I can and cannot fire? I mean, people who worked for him, he had that... I, I don't know if you read this. There's a new book out where he said, he said to uh, uh, General Miley, I think, he said, why can't you uh, generals be like Hitler's generals? Just support me with whatever I want because he wanted a... Uh, you remember he wanted a parade on 4th of July, a big military parade through the streets of Washington, D.C., massive show off the power of the American military. He made a big deal out of this for about a year. He spoke about this a lot. And like the military didn't want this and they were against it throughout. And he said, he said to the generals, he said, why can't you guys be like um, the German generals? They did everything Hitler told them. And I think the general said back to him, he said, uh, or somebody said to him, but you know, the generals try to kill Hitler. And Trump was like, no, no, they did everything he said. They loved Hitler. It's like, but that's, what he wants. He, he said the same thing about, you know, that he, that, that he loved the fact that when she uh, spoke, everybody, you know, stood up, everybody showed him respect, everybody, that there was this amazing respect to Xi and to Putin and to Hitler, I guess. And that, um, I mean, I don't know if he really said that, but certainly that's what people are saying. That's what's in this book that he said, but it's completely reasonable to me to, to imagine 
Trump saying that. It's exactly his character. It's exactly who he is. So I can completely see um, see him saying. Um, I, I completely see him saying. Um, you know, who who's anybody to tell me what I can and cannot do with these documents? Right. And so I think I, 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 I think he's done that. I think the Justice Department was trying to clean this up and trying to get all the documents back. I, I think they'll also relish the opportunity to um, uh, to get out, go after Trump and to humiliate them and to look him, make him look ridiculous. I, I, I think that a lot of that is going to backfire against it, right? I think ultimately um, Trump is going to, is going to uh, benefit from this, not be hurt by it. We'll see, but that's my, that's my impression. Um, I also think that, you know, the, the, the Justice Department is headed by, uh, what's his name, um, the uh, former judge. Um, and he's got in for Republicans because if you remember, he was supposed to be the Supreme Court Justice um, that was going to replace, I think, Scalia. He was going to replace Scalia. And um, they refused to bring it to a vote in the Senate. And he basically got it denied his chance. Mary Garland got denied his chance of being a Supreme Court judge because of Republicans. And uh, so you'd expect him to be quite bitter uh, towards, uh, you know, towards Republicans and, and try to get back at, at, at Trump. So I think... I think there's, I think that it's completely feasible that Trump has broken the law here and is doing th stuff that is that is unprecedented in terms of other presidents. Um, it's completely conceivable to me that the FBI and the Justice Department, at least some people in the FBI and Justice Department, are just trying to clean this up and and get to the bottom of it and and follow the law. And it's also completely conceivable to me that this is being used by uh, the political element within the Justice Department, starting with. Um, Mary Garland to get back at Trump and to make Trump look as bad as possible and, uh, and, and to score significant political points. All of that, I think, is all consistent and probably actually what's going on. And that's, that's me being objective, trying to tease out what is actually going on here. Um, now, sadly, I think this is going to help Trump, particularly in the Republican primaries. I'm not sure if this will help him win a general election. Uh, I'm not sure he can win a general election, but I do think it'll help him among Republicans. And that's a tragedy because I think there are much better candidates out there than Trump who can win a general election and, uh, and uh, who can beat Biden. I think almost any Republican can beat Biden right now, except Trump. Trump is the one Republican who might lose an election, so... All right, that is my spiel. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.